Hey guys, this is Michael, and there's some really big news coming out from uh, Blackmagic Design today, and if you're a geek like me, it's really exciting. Uh, Blackmagic just released and announced the Blackmagic RAW format. Now, this is very similar to what Apple did earlier this year with the ProRes RAW format. It's a compressed RAW format that is supposed to be a lot more powerful than a lot of the compressed recording formats most people are using. What I really like about the way Blackmagic is doing it is um, they are front-loading some of the processing onto the camera so that the format is a lot easier to run on the computer side of things. And right now it looks like, with the samples they've released, that's exactly what's going on. Uh, I did some very unscientific tests with ProRes RAW earlier this year, and I compared it to Cinema DNG, and overall the Cinema DNG uh, worked better, in my opinion. Plus, you weren't tied into using Final Cut Pro X, which is not my favorite re favorite uh, editor. Some people swear by it. I'm not a big fan. But available today for the Ursa Mini Pro and uh, a new version of DaVinci Resolve, you can actually start using uh, Blackmagic RAW right now, which is super exciting. They've also released a Blackmagic RAW player. Now, I'm on a... It's a really good... Uh, Mac Pro, but it's a 2013 Mac Pro, so it's five years old, and I'm able to play these uh, Blackmagic RAW files in the Blackmagic RAW player, full screen, there's no stuttering, no anything, and they look really good. Um, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about them, because a lot of this is available online, but I just wanted to give my initial impressions about it, and of course... Uh, these look really nice. There's still really good highlight rollouts. The people that have been beta testing this say it's like it makes their Blackmagic cameras brand new cameras. Better noise reduction. Uh, the highlight roll-off I think they indicated is a little bit better. Go watch the announcement from Grant Petty. It's really good. But I did want to take this into... I did download the new version of DaVinci Resolve already. So we can kind of look at this a little bit. Uh, I brought in these two sample clips, not all of the sample clips, just two of them, but in the in the color tab, when we decode using the Blackmagic RAW default, or we can also decode it using the clip, this is where we really get the power of this Blackmagic RAW. What I've One thing I've really liked about this, that it wasn't even an intentional side effect, was really looking at the different gamma between the video, the extended video look, and the custom look, which is how it was shot. Now, of course, you have control over color temperature. You have control over tint. Let me set that back to where it was. Uh, in this clip right here, you can see we could bring up the exposure. We could bring up the exposure, which does generate a little bit of noise. Probably going to leave it right about where it was. But we can also change it to the different formats, video, extended video, and we can see that this is really nice image quality. I'm really impressed by this. We can change the ISO as much as we want. I love that highlight roll-off right there. Um, this is huge news. This is really big. This is Blackmagic really trying to take a bite into what Apple is doing. Um, I've edited on Premiere and the Adobe Suite for a long time, and I'm sure uh, since Blackmagic has released the SDK kit for editors, that Adobe is going to put it into the next release of Premiere Pro, just like that. It's probably not going to be really hard at all. But more and more, I'm really impressed with the innovations that Blackmagic is doing for such a small company, both in terms of camera size and uh, things like Blackmagic Design RAW right out of the box, being able to use it the day it's announced. Uh, again, super excited. This is something that I think is going to be huge. They are going to be including it in the Ursa Mini Pro, and they said the Pocket 4K. They said they're going to bring it to their other cameras, but we don't know how long that's going to be. And of course, the physical hardware of the older cameras, like the, the Ursa Mini 4.6K, maybe, we'll see. But when it comes out, I'm going to be doing some tests non-scientific and probably scientific, but I do want to show one more thing real fast. Let's go over here. Um, 
one thing that really stands out to me about this and is really changing the way uh, lower end filmmakers are be going to be able to record images uh, are using not only the compressed raw types, excuse me, but the different flavors. Like you have the constant bitrate compression, which is 3 to 1, 5 to 1, 8 to 1, 12 to 1, and the beta testers have said the 12 to 1 compression is clean, super clean. Uh, they can't even tell any artifacting when they're using even the highest compression rates. And they also have this constant quality compression. The constant quality compression, that's what strikes me more as what ProRes RAW does. It's, they have a variable bit rate, but the intention is to keep the quality of the image very close. Uh, this, I think, looks a little bit higher than the ProRes RAW. I don't have the ProRes RAW in front of me, but they have two different levels of it. The Q0 is the higher end, and the Q5 is the lower end, but it looks like in terms of recording, a lot of these are going to be able to go on to even higher end V90, etc. SD cards. And the, the ability to shoot 12 bit compressed RAW onto uh, even an SD card, not even needing a CFast card, that's impressive. I've already been playing around with how I'm going to rig up a Pocket 4K with um, an SSD, and right now I might not even need that. I'm super excited to see what they're going to do with this, and it's huge news, I'm very excited about it, but the fact that they've released this available for anyone to use right now, that's exciting. Uh, I'm looking forward to this as soon as I get my Blackmagic Pocket. I'm going to be doing a couple of tests with that, so keep an eye out, and hopefully that'll be next week. And this has been Michael. Thank you very much.